Did you know that basal cell carcinoma is one of the most common types of skin cancer globally? It's an unwelcome guest but with early detection and treatment it can be shown the door. This cancer often presents as a shiny bump or a flat, flesh-colored or brown scar-like lesion. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards taking control. And when it comes to treatment, there are several options. Electrodesiccation and curettage, a procedure that involves cauterizing and scraping the lesion, can be effective. Surgical excision, where the cancer and some surrounding skin is cut out, is another option. And then there's Mohs surgery, a precision technique that removes the cancer layer by layer. These are all common treatments, but there's another player in the game. Approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in 2004, we have Aldara, or Imiquimod, a topical cream. Aldara, a topical cream, offers a non-invasive approach to treating superficial basal cell carcinoma. This cream was approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in 2004, and works by gently peeling away the lesion. Aldara is unique in its kind. It's the only topical formulation used to treat superficial basal cell carcinoma in adults with normal immune systems. It's particularly recommended when other methods of removal are inappropriate, such as when there are multiple lesions on the face. What's fascinating about Aldara is how it works. It activates the immune system to produce a type of protein, known as interferon alpha, which directly attacks the cancer cells. So, how effective is Aldara? Pre-market research revealed that this cream was able to clear superficial basal cell carcinoma in 75% of treated individuals. In stark contrast, a placebo cleared only 2% of treated superficial basal cell carcinoma. Of those successfully treated with Aldara, nearly 80% remained cancer-free after two years. While research is ongoing, there are indications that Aldara may also be effective in treating early-stage melanoma, also known as melanoma in situ, if other surgical options are not available. However, Aldara is not a one-size-fits-all treatment. It's essential to inform your healthcare provider if you're taking other forms of treatment for superficial basal cell carcinoma, actinic keratosis, genital warts, or any other skin conditions. Aldara may also worsen certain inflammatory skin conditions such as psoriasis. Additionally, it's unknown if Aldara can harm a fetus during pregnancy or be transmitted to a baby through breast milk. If you're pregnant or planning to become pregnant, it's crucial to discuss both the benefits and potential consequences of Aldara with your healthcare provider. Like all treatments, it's important to understand how to properly apply Aldara and be aware of its potential side effects. It's a journey to recovery, and knowing what to expect can make all the difference in navigating this journey with confidence. Proper application of Aldara is crucial for its effectiveness. This topical cream is applied directly to the skin and should never be used near your eyes, lips, nostrils, or open wounds. It's typically applied once daily, five days a week, and should be left on the skin for about eight hours or overnight. Avoid covering the treated area with bandages or other closed dressings. After the eight-hour period, gently wash the affected skin with mild soap and water. It's important to continue the treatment for a full six weeks, even if the basal cell lesion appears gone. As for side effects, the most common is a localized skin reaction, which occurs in roughly a third of all cases. Symptoms may include redness, swelling, skin peeling, and itching. If you experience a severe skin reaction or develop flu-like symptoms, contact your healthcare provider immediately. With proper use, Aldara can be an effective treatment option for basal cell carcinoma, offering a non-invasive approach to managing this common skin cancer.